All right, guys, we're almost done with all of our CRUD operations. The final one is update. So let's create a new request. We're going to call this uh, update post. And I'm just going to grab the URL from the delete post because it's going to follow the same exact structure. So we're going to pass the ID of the uh, post that we want to update. Now, since we are updating it, we need our front end, or in this case, Postman, to actually send the data. Uh, that we want to update with. So since we are working with posts and we take a look at our uh, structure of our posts, it's very simple. We just have title content uh, and then, you know, published as well if you want to add that in ratings as well. And I'm actually going to remove that. So I don't actually want to have that. I'll actually, we'll keep it in for now. But we'll definitely remove that a little bit later on. And so if I go back to Postman, we can go to our body and then provide all of those fields. So we'll go to raw and then JSON. So this is just like when we were trying to create a post, we just pass that data in. And so here we'll get the title and we'll give it a new title. So updated title. So this, uh, this, uh, this update request is go just going to update the title. Now we are going to use uh, the put method. So with put method, we have to actually pass in uh, the data for all of the fields, right? We want to pass in what the final post will look like after we update it. We don't just want to pass in the fields that we want to update. So if I go to, let's say, um, you know, post one, right, we have the title and then we have the content. So if I wanted to update just the title, right, I would make sure that I pass the content as well. So I'm just going to copy this. Since we're not updating, it, I'm just going to send back the same exact content. Right. And then this is going to be a put operation. Right. And so this is what the request is going to look like. Now let's go to our code and let's actually create our path operation for that. So here we're going to do app dot put. This is going to go to posts ID. And then we'll define our function. I'm going to call this update post. We're going to get the ID and I'm going to convert that to an int. Um, and then one other thing, right? Because we are receiving data from the, the front end, uh, just like we did for creating a post, we want to make sure that it adheres to a very strict structure. So we have to use, so I want to use our schema again so that the, the front end can't just send whatever it wants to. Now I can create a new model called uh, class, you know, update post, and then we can pass in all the fields that we expect. However, it's going to be the same thing as the post because we expect a title content uh, and then um, any of the other fields, uh, depending on what we want ultimately, but it's going to be a post. So it doesn't make sense to create a new schema. We can just use the pre-existing schema. And so here I'm just going to pass in post and make this type of post so that it's going to make sure that the request comes in with the right schema. And then for now, I'm just going to hard code the return to be a, a message and I'll just say updated post. And then here I'm going to do a print. Let's just see what the post looks like. All right, so we were able to extract all of that data, so perfect. Uh, and then what we're going to do now is uh, there's a couple things. So first things first, I, I need to find the index uh, that of the post with this specific ID. So just like we did with delete, I'm just going to copy this. Actually, we can copy all of this right here because if that ID doesn't exist, we want to send a 404. So we can reuse all of that logic. But if we did find an index, that means we do need to update it. So what I'm going to do is uh, we're going to grab post underscore dict, which equals post dot dict. So that's going to take the data we receive from our front end, which is stored in post, and it's going to convert it to a dictionary. That's all it's doing. And then what I want to do is I want to set post underscore dict of ID to be equal to ID. So we're going to set the ID uh, inside this new dictionary to be that ID. 
And then we're going to say my underscore post. And we're going to pass in the index uh, of the specific post we want to update and set that equal to post underscore dict. And then lastly, we're going to return, I'll say data, and then we're going to return our new post, which is going to be post underscore dict. So let's just quickly recap what's happening. So first of all, uh, the user is going to send a put request to the specific ID of the uh, post he wants to update. And we're going to just do a quick check. So we're going to see if we can find what is the index of that specific post within my, my, my posts array. If it doesn't exist, then we're just going to throw a 404. If it does exist, whoops, if it doesn't exist, we're going to throw a 404. If it does exist, well, first thing, we're going to take all the data we received from the front end, which is stored in post. We're going to convert it to a regular Python dictionary. And then we're going to add the ID so that this final dictionary has the ID built in. And then we're going to say, for the post within index, we're going to just replace it with our new post underscore dict. So that's how we update that specific spot in the array. And so let's give this a shot. So if I do uh, get all posts, right, we can see we have post one, and then the title is title of post one. And then let's go to our update, and we can see that we're going to change the title to be updated title. And let's see if that works. Okay, so it looks like it worked. Uh, we got back the new post, so let's do a get all posts again, and let's see if it actually did update. And we can see that it did, in fact, update. Now, just to, just to make sure everything else is good, let's also change the, uh, the content. So let's say this is the new content. Let's send an update. And then we're going to run this again, and we can see that the content is updated. So now we're able to successfully update each and every post. And that's going to wrap up all of our CRUD operations. So you can see that building out an API, building out your CRUD functionality is fairly straightforward within Fast API. Uh, we've got one more lesson where we're just going to restructure our code a little bit just to make things a little bit cleaner. And then we're going to start getting to the fun stuff, which is working with databases. So I'm going to show you guys how we can actually uh, get a Postgres database installed on our machines and running, and then we'll actually start saving data into an actual database.